hey guys welcome back to the channel and this is how to fix valorant stock on loading screen so guys first thing that you will do is go to the start menu and search over here valorant and from here just click on open file location and after that just right click on the app and go for open file location again and from here just click on write games over here at the top and now go for valorant go for live and from here go for shooter game and now go for binaries and go for win64 and just simply scroll down guys and you should be able to see here valorant win64 shipping so just simply right click on it and from here guys just simply go to properties and now here on the properties just go to compatibility and now just click on disable full screen optimization and click on apply and click on ok and from there when you run your valorant you should be able to fix the issue but if it doesn't just simply go back over here and right click on it and go to properties and now try to uncheck this disable full screen optimization and try to go for run this program as administrator and click on apply and after that guys just simply test the valorant again so guys if it still doesn't work now just try to register this program for restart so just check this box and click on apply and click on ok and from there you should be able to fix the issue now guys for the fourth method is just simply go back here riot games and from here just go to valorant and go for live and now just try to delete these two over here and from there you should be able to fix the issue if it still doesn't for the fifth method or for the last method that you have is just simply go over here to the start menu and search for services and now from here just simply scroll down and now just try to find over here vgc so i'm just gonna go for v as you can see from here just double click on it and from here just try to go for startup type and from here just go for automatic and now just simply click on apply and now click on start and from here just wait for it to load up and after that just simply restart your computer and from there you should be able to fix the issue and there you go if this video was helpful please like and subscribe and thanks for watching